For all of us riders out there, whose daily driver or bike hauler is a pickup truck, we have a plethora of options we can use to transport our bikes to the trailhead. From strapping it down in the bed like a motorcycle, to building your own custom rack, the options for pickup owners seem limitless. That being said though, it seems like most people gravitate to one of two options. The hitch mount bike rack, or the tailgate pad. Over the years I've used both, and in this video I'll compare the two and tell you which one I prefer. I'll be comparing the Dakin Deluxe tailgate pad and my personal Quat Sherpa 2.0 bike rack. The two methods differ in several ways, and both have their pluses and minuses. First, we'll try the Dakin Deluxe tailgate pad. The first thing you notice with the tailgate pad is how light and easy it is to move around compared to a hitch rack. But it's floppy and kind of awkwardly shaped, so I can never quite figure out where to put it in the garage, and it typically just ends up on the floor somewhere in the corner. Throwing the pad over the tailgate is obviously easy, even for the vertically challenged like me. Most tailgate pads now include a soft suede-like material on the underside that protects your paint, but you have to keep it clean because if it gets dirty, it's going to scuff your paint anyway. Once you throw the pad over, it starts to get kind of tricky when feeding the straps through the underside of the tailgate. This may be easier or harder depending on the vehicle, but on my truck I noticed that the outside straps fed through relatively easy, but to get the inside straps to feed through, I had to open the tailgate partially which with my short arms became kind of frustrating. I'm sure the more you get used to installing these, the faster and easier it would be though. Once through, you simply feed them through the buckles, cinch them down, and you're pretty much done. Most of the newer pads these days also have an opening or flap in this case that allows you to retain the use of your backup camera, which is awesome. Loading your bike is simple and fast. Just hang your bike over the tailgate and secure it with the provided strap. Most full-size tailgate pads come with somewhere around five to seven retaining straps, allowing you to carry more bikes than pretty much any hitch rack that I know of. This Dakin Deluxe pad comes with a built-in eyelet that's intended to be used to secure it to the truck, but I wouldn't put much faith in it. As far as the bike is concerned, your best bet at security is to run a cable lock through the frame and through a tie-down point in your truck. Once you get used to how the tailgate pad installs, it ends up being fairly simple, minus the feeding the straps under the tailgate part. And for some of you, you may just leave the pad permanently installed. Now onto the hitch rack. Installing the rack is incredibly easy. Just slide the rack into your hitch, insert the pin, and twist the knob on the end of the rack to take up the slack. The rack is much heavier than the tailgate pad, but it's still only about 30 pounds. Loading the rack is just as simple. Lay the rack flat, open the arm and wheel holder, place the bike on the rack, lock it down, boom, done. Using a hitch rack like this one also allows you to retain full use of your bed. And on smaller trucks like my old Tacoma, you can still open the tailgate all the way with the rack loaded. But you'll only be able to open it up about halfway on full-size trucks. The rack does make your vehicle quite a bit longer. It's really not a big deal, but it's something you need to remember when you're driving around. This particular rack also comes with a semi-integrated cable lock that locks your bike to the rack, which is also locked to your hitch. This gives you enough security to run into a store or restaurant, but I wouldn't leave it overnight. The biggest downside of the hitch rack is of course the price, and it's a pretty significant downside. A top-notch tailgate pad can be purchased for about 150 bucks, whereas a good hitch rack is going to cost you like 300 to 700 dollars. So which do I prefer? Well, the hitch rack. But that's only because it fits my needs better than the tailgate pad. Which one works best for you will solely depend on your specific needs and budget. If you have the money to spend, like having full use of your bed, and never carry more than four bikes, then a hitch rack works great. But if you're trying to keep it cheap, or not as concerned with security, or you need to haul five or more bikes, then a tailgate pad is probably the better choice. So I hope you enjoyed this comparison, and if you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.